Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a exciting video. So I get a lot of comments <laughs> saying that uh, people get kind of like frustrated because I'll show an item in my haul and actually won't try it on. So I figured today we will just do a full try on video. So this is kind of different than what I normally do. Normally I'll sit here and show you every single piece that I get. But I'm going to do this one because it's Gymshark and I got a lot of great pieces on their sale. I have over 15 outfits to show you and I don't want to sit here and like bore you because I bought both a top and a bottom. So that's going to be a lot of little pieces. I did get everything on sale and I got an additional 10% for using uh, student beans. Another reason why I kind of don't do the um, trial portions is because the camera I use, I, I tried to change the settings already a couple times, but it has this really bad tendency of like going out of focus. And to me, essentially, it just looks bad. And I don't want to put that portion of the video into the actual video. So, um,. That's why I, I always use my phone in the mirror if you've seen my previous hauls and stuff. So it's just really hard with my camera. I would do it all on my phone, but my phone literally has no storage right now. So, so I am going to try my best to do it with this camera. Hopefully it works. Um, also, most of the pieces are a between a medium and a large. But I'll give you a little sneak peek right now of all the fun colors oh. let's get freaking started because it's gonna be a hard one for me it is 106 degrees outside and i'm already sweating and i don't know if you can hear the ac is running but i'm freaking hot so let's roll so this is the green flex sprawl i don't really I need to make sure, I'm going to put my glasses on to make sure that it's not out of focus. But I don't really remember the color of this one. But this is a new version. It has the Gymshark base here. So this is the whole outfit. The Gymshark huge logo here. Um, I have a short torso, so like... This always just kind of rolls down. Outfit number. Oh no. Okay, this is the minimal. Ugh, mineral. Mineral. Minimal. This is the minimal bra in apricot orange and the vital seamless leggings in orange marl. These have like a little, like the marly detail. It's almost like that apricot orange color. These are the old ones though. These are the newest uh, apricot color seamless, vital seamless that just released not too long ago. Um, the leggings do hit me like to my ankles. I am 5'3", but I feel like the reason they hit me so high is because um, I have like really, as you can probably tell, really big thighs. So we need like more material or more fabric here too. I really honestly hate the 2.0, 2.0 Vital now. I definitely prefer the old version because Gymshark tapered them for skinnier people that have a smaller waist and kind of left out as a big waisted gals. <laughs> also this bra wasn't in the sale and these were 60% off so they were only like 20 bucks maybe like 18 or 19 when I got the 10% off too so this was that's why I got this one and not the apricot color um they're not that squat proof either but yeah this is the outfit okay this is the v-neck sports bra um and i thought that this color combination would also look good i don't i think this is the papaya orange these colors fire okay this is the adapt ombre 
and this ombre is like really subtle so I love it this is I think that this is the only pair of Adapt Ombre leggings I own. I like these leggings way more than I like the Vital. Like, they are super stretchy. I did size up and I feel like there's a lot of like fabric going on here. So I don't really like that. I think it should have just stuck to medium. But also I feel like the other Adapt Ombre that I have the waist is just like super restricting so now i just have a little bit more wiggle room this is the length it fits up to my ankle as you can see i have a short torso like i roll it up it's touching my bra but i have to roll it down a little bit and then this is the bra you can probably see the detail anymore. I also hate the cup pads. I've been taking out all my cup pads from literally all of my clothing. And I used to be okay with them. But lately, they've just been like extra bulky. And it also feels tighter. This is the bra. It has the Gymshark logo. So this is the <clears throat> flag in page pink. And this is super tight. I wore the penny brown fleck yesterday to the gym literally literally oh, it was almost midnight when i wore it last night so and it was on <clears throat> and it was in a medium and this just feels like this barely was able to be on me and this is like less forgiving than the adapt like i'm having trouble like expanding it i honestly don't think i like this color I, I like the pink, but I feel like the, I think that this is like cherry brown, so you can use like a cherry brown bra with this, but I just feel like it kind of ruins it. I don't think it's that pretty. Um, I definitely like the coconut white fleck that came out with this collection over this one. Okay, page pink again, but if you've never tried Gymshark and you want to try anything, you should try the trending collection it is they're like cheaper items but i feel like they're super underrated i get these in a size medium like the training leggings and <clears throat> like i said the training is one of my favorite look at this set uh they just recently released the cycling shorts which I'm excited because, or biker shorts, because I've been cycling a lot. I usually get a medium in the training leggings, and I decided to get a large in the shorts because I didn't want them too big. And I feel like this is the first pair of Gymshark cycling shorts that are in, like, digging into my thigh. Like, you see that stretch? Like, it's awesome. I know most of the clothes looks funky, and I apologize. It's because I do have an underwear, so it keeps, like, rolling down. Um, I'm trying my best. Trust me. I thought these were gonna look super cute, but so you can see I have a really short torso So this I have to bend it down and it like cuts away the gym shark logo So I don't really like that. So I think I should have stuck to a medium I feel like a medium would have been fine. And then this is the alpine green bra The um, pink page pink flag felt way more compressive than the alpine flag and i honestly don't understand why i didn't even want to try the bra because i thought the other bra was too tight this is essentially what the flag bra looks like it's a double layer so it does have that and then that's the back um, I did take out the cup pads, as you can see, and it's supposed to look cute, but I just kind of feel like the flack on fly kind of looks weird. So I like the solid on fleck. I feel like it evens it out a lot more, but this is, once again, the ruche bra. They're really thick, but like when you kind of have them on, uh, the only thing that feels restricting is the waistband but i don't think it gives me a dreaded ct i do have a big ass 
stomach area and a side area so I just do feel like it emphasizes that a lot like uh, it doesn't look cute but these do fit me like seven eighths once again I'm five three this is just regular navy and again training collection v-neck bra and training biker shorts and I really like these they're really thin like really thin and this bra is like really comfortable I like it I told myself I wouldn't let myself get the new camo because I hate the pattern <laughs> like it's so ugly to me and I decided to get it because the bra was only $18 and these were like 40% off and if you don't know like the original pricing is like anywhere between 60 and 65 for these leggings. I just thought it was a pretty good uh, sale price to pass up because I don't have any of the new camo patterns. These are pretty stretchy and breathable though. And I did decide to go for this style bra instead of the cross bra because um, I have like every single color of camo that has released from day one and even some of the old animal with the cross bra thing and i'm just over it <laughs> i'm kind of just over it honestly probably would just wear either an all white bra or an all black bra with this one um i feel like this is too much so i got the black um ombre and this is so much different than the other original adapt ombre because it's less morally and this is like a almost like grainy kind of thing and it also has like a contour right here like almost like a heart line contour and you can see it more on the black than you did on the red but i like how subtle these are um a good neutral these shorts are tight like extremely tight which i'm really shocked about because the red one was so stretchy but kind of makes sense because my other shorts are also tight and but my other shorts are also medium but these are large and these are really tight these do have that race seam in the glute still so you can hike them up and the cherry brown, this is definitely more of a fall color. And these are the um, camo seamless shorts. So they're shorter than the adept ombre short. And I did pair it with the cherry brown training bra because the cross one was on sale. But even this one not on sale, this one was on sale, was cheaper than the cross one on sale. So I just decided to get this one. Plus, I think it's like a little bit more comfortable to me than the camel one. I also did want to show you guys the leggings. They're the same thing. This is an older gray, so this is a smoky gray collection. I don't remember how many launches ago, but either two or three launches ago that this color came out. Um, I don't like, can you see, this white band this is why i hate the new vital because i used to get my vital with a size medium and i had to go to a large because uh the band is like i previously said for people that have a smaller waist and as you can tell my waist is anything but small and uh and the band also digs in i know that these shorts are supposed to be shorter but if i roll them up they're just gonna get eaten by my thighs and for the final flex, flex that I got, I got the biker shorts again and the sports bra in that like pinky marl. They have came out with this same color previously. The original flex came out in this color and then another of the, of the high-waisted flex leggings came out in this color. And this is a new one because it doesn't have like the little Gymshark across. It has just the Gymshark logo and it used to have the Gymshark down here. This one does feel a lot stretchier too, but I my problem is the thighs. I've said it multiple times. I honestly still wear the flex a lot, especially to go biking, but I'm going to tell you a traumatizing story. 
So one day I went cycling, biking, whatever, to the gym. So I took the, it was, they have it like at 70% off still on their website. It was that really neon light green flex shorts. And um, usually to the gym, I don't wear an underwear. It just kind of depends. Uh, I If I do, I wear like a seamless nude underwear. But that day I decided not to wear an underwear. So I was benching and I don't know what happened. It was the first time I tried out this pair of short. Um, I buy a lot of Gymshark. So I have experience with a lot of them. A lot of my Gymshark has ripped over the years or like within a few wears. Um, I have fat thighs so like they rub up against each other and the seams come undone. I was benching and this is super embarrassing and I literally wanted to cry and I left the gym that day. The inseam between like the crotch gusset and like the bottom, if it wasn't like a little bit higher up on the crotch, like that whole inseam between my legs completely ripped. And granted, I was just cycling to the gym. Like I was, I was just riding my bike. Um, I wasn't doing anything. It was the first time I wore these pairs of shorts and some guy on in front of the bench he was like doing exercises and stuff he kept staring at me and i was wondering like why he was staring at me and i couldn't figure out why he would keep staring at me so then i'm like doing sets and i'm like halfway through my bench sets and i finally got really uncomfortable because i saw him staring between my legs and i was like oh maybe i have a ct so let me look sure enough my freaking shorts were ripped luckily i always bring like a spare pair of either leggings or like uh basketball shorts and that day i was gonna go swimming so i made sure that i had another pair of uh, basketball shorts in my gym bag so i threw them on and i felt like super scared and sad and like just super self-conscious because the guy was just like really staring at me and i felt uncomfortable so i left um i had to bike home still but it was okay yeah that's why i kind of don't wear the flex a lot and this is the newest not the newest vital launch but the one right before it the newest vital launch was the pink server and the moonstone moonstone blue which looked more pastel purple but this is like the teal blue i like this color the only problem is that it looks similar to a previous gym like the original gymshark vital launches but obviously new and improved this is the waistband as you can tell by the pile of clothes i'm very much a matching set type of person versus a mix and match and i know that's a really basic but to me, it just kind of looks really clean. But the reason I have a lot of trouble like mixing and matching is because I feel like when I mix and match, colors just don't go up together. And the final set. I do have the bra, but I kind of wanted to show you guys without the bra. Um, I don't feel like it has that much. It definitely has no support, but I feel like the coverage, like nip coverage, is pretty good i did have it in the blue one but i waited to show you the only problem i have with these is that the hands are too long and i don't really like wearing the thumb holes and over here they feel really compressive on the hands and on the forearms but the actual like body of it feels pretty good and the purple i'm not a purple kind of person but this purple, I can I can get by with it. It's really cute. I love Gymshark. I think Gymshark for the price is pretty good for the most part. Obviously, I had a lot of trouble, like I said, with the Flex before. But since then, the new Flex I have hasn't given me... The new Flex that I have hasn't given me any problems. I think the worst part about have doing hauls and like the, my kind of content that I'm creating is the try on portion because it is so hard to keep trying on bras. Like clearly I actually tried really hard not to like, I know my hair isn't the best, but I tried really hard not to like make it messy. If you see previous videos of mine, my hair's like, so. 
I tried. I really, really tried. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video because I had a lot of fun with it. And I recorded it on my cell phone to see if I can post like a little, not TikTok, but like a little oh, Instagram reel. Follow me on Instagram, please. Um, I'll have it linked down below. And I'll have the Gymshark website linked down below too. Everything with the exception of maybe two bras were on sale. I also got another 10% for um, student beans. Also, this video is not sponsored by Gymshark. I wish because if I show you my Gymshark collection, I also, I also have a Gymshark leggings collection in my video. In my, channel too if you guys want to check that out please like and subscribe to my channel i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart it means a lot when people comment because it just like makes me happy to actually post these videos like i feel like i'm actually even if it's like one or two people like i always feel genuinely happy i always have a smile when somebody comments and i reply back so thank you so much for everything i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys